Some works of art represent more than just iconic creations. They are pedestals around which lives are built, ideas are shared, and friendships are maintained. Like the ones that linked Jean and Annie d'Alsace to Pierre and Dolly Charot, and whose memory is preserved in the nooks and crannies of the Maison de Verre, in the drawers of a metal and leather desk. This close friendship starts as a story of women. Louise Dite, known as Dolly, and Annie Bernheim met in 1905. The English wife of Pierre Charot excelled in her role as a tutor, but she also made sure to introduce Annie to art. As an adult, Annie mixed in the avant-garde cultural circles of her time and became, quite naturally, a driving force behind Pierre Charot's creation. In 1918, Annie marries Jean d'Alsace and they commissioned Pierre Charot with his first major project, the furnishings for the newlyweds flat on Boulevard Saint-Germain. When the time came to build their own house, the young couple remained loyal to their friend. Pierre Charot was able to create a world that the Dalsaces could inhabit effortlessly, however radical it might have been in the 1930s. With its sliding doors, floating floors or mobile stairs, the house on Rue Saint-Guillaume seemed to be alive and changing constantly. After the war, the Maison de Verre became a meeting place for ideas to flow, beautiful utopias to be expressed and artistic movements to be initiated. The Dalsaces and Charots share a common passion for the work of Pablo Picasso, Georges Braque or Jean Lussat. Thanks to the latter, they became close to Jeanne Boucher. An important part of the Dalsaces collection comes from the tireless work of this forward-thinking gallery owner. Altogether, they formed the core of a galaxy of mutual aid. At the center of this constellation, the furniture designed by Pierre Charot takes on its full resonance. It celebrates friendship, as evidenced by the prototypes created for Annie and Jean d'Alsace, like the coat racks from the main entrance, but also the art of living. Today, putting these objects back into motion sounds like a handover. It is, of course, a question of preserving a unique work in the history of modernity. But that is not all. These objects will continue to tell the story co-written by the Dalsaces and the Charos by becoming the support of other lives, other friendships and other stories. <laughs>